Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little video here about um, getting rid of blue lines because uh, working on paper with pencils and, and ink, uh, gotta get rid of your blue lines. Um, I uh, scanned this thing in that I just drew. It's Lisa and her mom. And um, uh, I need to uh, get rid of the blue lines, clean it up, and prepare the line art. So I'm going to do that in Photoshop. Um, not only get rid of the lines, but um, separate my line art onto its own layer so I can add color underneath. So um, first thing I do, scan it in, 300 DPI, and um, I uh, open up... Let's say I go, uh, um, I, I, I'm going to, for one thing, I'm going to, the image mode, I'm going to make it CMYK. Seems to work better in CMYK on my computer, I don't know. And I'm going to go image adjustment uh, color balance. And we're just going to adjust the color balance. And we zoom in on, so we can see some blue. And we just play with these sliders until the blue goes away mostly and uh, we hit highlights and bring up the red and you can see the blue just whoosh, like pretty much like goes away bring up this green slider whoosh, and it goes away um, you want to be careful you don't want your uh, black lines to go away too much so you got to be careful um, I go into uh, shadows and um, bring up the color uh, and um, that usually will darken in the shadows pretty good. Um, there's still like a, a little bit of uh, blue stuff, um, which isn't great. Uh, I'm going to try hitting the midtones thing, see if I can lighten those up a little bit. Yeah, they're lighting that up a little bit. Uh, but, uh, you yeah, know, we still got... It's still pretty heavy, but... We'll deal with that, okay, because we got rid of most of the blue. That's that's just most important. So I hit OK. Um, now I just got to deal with uh, that particular bit of blue. I'm um, going to try to select that, see if I can select that blue. Uh, grab my magic wand tool, turn off contiguous um, so that it selects all the blue of that color. Turn up the tolerance a bit on the top here. Turn turn the tolerance up to like 50. So 50 shades of blue it'll select. And it doesn't seem to be selecting too much my black, just the blue in those white areas. It's got a lot of it. So uh, I'm going to fill that with um, my white, which I have in the foreground. So I'm going to uh, option delete, and that fills it with white. Now command D to deselect. and it's pretty clean. There's still like a little bit of blue here and there, but it's pretty darn clean. So, um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, um, go image adjustments desaturate so that it's gray. A lot of, a lot of the, you can see a lot of the blue in the mess kind of comes back a little bit as, as very light gray, but it's very light. So now we could just go image, adjustment brightness contrast and uh, hit use legacy and bring up the contrast and bring up the brightness and it'll get rid of a lot of that a lot of that um, it'll get rid of a lot of that excess gray um, my black lines are still like kind of dark gray with little smatterings of darker gray in them so I'm just going to use my magic wand tool to select all the white and then select uh, the um, the inverse of that. Uh, so select, go up to the top menu, select inverse. Now it's selecting all the black and I'll just fill that uh, with straight black. So um, it's pretty clean. You can then go in there with your brush and some white and um, clean up uh, some details. Like uh, there was a boo-boo down here that I wanted to clean up. I'm gonna turn on my smoothing so that makes a nice smooth line. 
because I'm drawing with a freaking trackpad, which is very much not ideal. But if you got your smoothing on, it makes things a lot easier. Okay, so that's good. Um, and, you know, you could go crazy, like, um, zooming in and, like, trying to make things perfect. You, you shouldn't worry too much about it. Um, so, yeah, so this is good. I'm just going to separate my line art from the white. Um, and I do that. This is going to be quick, but, and, and it sounds confusing, but once you learn how to do it, it's real easy. So, first of all, I'm going to unlock my layer, um, so that when I select everything, Command A to select everything, Command X to cut everything, you'll see it's transparent. It's got this little checkerboard thing, so it's transparent in the background. Uh, as a matter of fact, just to, I'm going to just paste some, uh, color back there just so you could see, because later on when I put the line art in, I want you to see how nice and clean the line art is separated. Um, I'm going to go channels, and real quick, I'm going to make a new channel, and I'm going to fill it, command V, paste my art in there, command I to invert it, so that the white is black and the black is white. Um, I'm going to command click onto the little icon in the channels thing, onto that channel, and it selects my white uh, lines perfectly. I'm going to delete that channel. We don't need it anymore. I'm going to go back to layers and I'm going to paste uh, black into uh, that selection. So now I have perfect, uh, perfectly clean uh, line art uh, over a um, blank background so that um, ready for coloring. So that's it. If anybody uh, wants me to explain it further, uh, let me know. Bye.